Hey everyone, Laura Joseph here, um, training up here at Indian Creek Zoo in Lambertville, Michigan. Um, so I've got my giraffe earrings on here on uh, on today, and I'm trying to I'm paying attention because whether I realize or not, Puzzles is expecting. He think I'm asking something of him because I'm standing right where I always train him. Um, but what I do here is um, train the animals, um, including Puzzles. And the, and the staff to help me um, keep keep behaviors going as I uh, throughout the week until I come here until I come back because I'm only here on Wednesdays. But I wanted to show you um, I'm practicing a new hairdo. <laughs> Bloopers. I'm practicing um, with training puzzles. Uh, to do a voluntary hoof trim. So this involves targeting and stationing um, and duration. And I'm just kind of walking around because he's waiting for me to train him. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I definitely don't want to confuse him. Um, the type of training that I do is positive reinforcement using applications and applied behavior analysis, which is a branch of psychology. Um, and I use it on every single animal that I work with. Um, it gives choice, control, uh, back to the animal and puts choice and control back into the equation of behavior modification um, So I like to empower the animals um, that I work with and let's get to training. You ready? Okay. He's ready. Let's go um, So I want his front right hoof on a block with his knee bent not with his knee straight because with his knee straight means he's putting weight on it um, I did not bring my target stick out here, and I'm gonna have to call him off of his station a station means go to an area and don't move until cued to do otherwise. Okay, so I need to move him. his front right foot up here. Hopefully you guys can see this. Okay, ready? Up here. So I want him lined up perpendicular with me. That's not the behavior. I need you perpendicular to me, sweetie. Good. Okay, now he's got all his weight. This is his front right hoof. I need his knee bent. Good. 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 So this is good. Training we've been doing. Good. 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 I'm just getting him prepped. Good. That something's getting ready to happen to this hoof. And I need Call him off of it. Good. I'm calling him off of it so I can get him lined back up for success. I just want the front right hoof knee bent. Line up with me. not necessarily in the position that I want him. I want him facing perpendicular with me because it's a lot easier. Good. So I want to get him lined back up again. There you go. Okay, up. Good. 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 So the word good, G-O-O-D, good, is the bridge 
because it bridges the period of time, good. Between the behavior you're asking and the time the reinforcer delivered, good. So I'm shaping the behavior of myself knocking on his foot to get him prepped, good. For a hoof trim, good. Good. Three knocks on his hoof. Good. Nice job. Good boy. So we keep our training sessions really short, very frequent. It's how the animal learns the quickest, so I need to call him off of his station. Touch. So this is a hand target. Nice job. It tells him where to go. Tells him what to do that's going to earn him reinforcement because telling an animal what to do is a lot stronger than telling an animal what not to do. Synapses in the brain form quicker. Good job, Puzzles. So there you go. Thanks, everybody. You see you, Puzzles.